Okay, guys, we're coming back at you. Um, we had our surgery done. We're moving kind of slow, so please, you know, bear with me because I just had an abdomen surgery, basically, with a hiatal hernia. Anyway, we did some touch-up bondo work. So the way I like to do body filler is I don't waste time. I just get it on there where it's real bad. I get on there thick. Not super thick, but I mean like, you know, cover the areas, get the waves out. I sand it down. If there's any flaws, I come back and I touch it up like this. I'll show you guys. Um, the dark stuff is the touch up. And uh, I will show you like right here. We touched up the right here and down this side. There's a bunch of touch-up spots, and then it just makes it quick, easy, because you can uh, get it on there, and then if you see like little pinholes or stuff, you can always just refloat it. We got our lights in. We were just putting them on today, just kind of making sure they fit, as I can't do anything today. So we have both lights on here, one there, one there. Um, there's some little minor things we gotta fix with the lights where like it's not fitting real tight here on this one but on the other one it does and then on the other one where that fits real tight this down here is not fitting tight so we gotta probably take these off and re-screw them on somebody probably just slapped them together real quick I was just making sure that they fit this bed in case I had to send them back we have two running lights here like we showed you in the other video we'll go on the side where those holes are in the back and then our our license plate light um this is going to be an extremely short video guys uh because i don't really have a lot to show you because i can't work and stuff because of the surgery but i thought i'd come out here and give you guys some sort of a um you know video just to kind of keep you guys going on that follow you know what we do how we're doing it all that good stuff and not keep you out in the wondering what's going on um and yeah so I'll be healed up soon, uh, probably another three, four days max, moving around again. They said no lifting more than 20 pounds for two weeks, but we all know how that goes. It's hard to get people to just sit around that long. So we'll see how I feel and if I get up and moving. Um, and then we'll get back on this. We're at the point of just a little touch up sanding these done, get it down to the 400. And then we're going to spray it how it is. We're not going to worry about any more dents. We're just going to get this thing painted, lit up, and ready to be sold. Uh, there's going to be a few more videos because I'm actually planning on probably putting a toolbox on the front of this trailer. Um, and just adding the box. Because I use the box. It's in my truck. But my blue box but i'm gonna repaint it put it right here in the front and then we'll add in the cost of what they go for so i can get a new one for my truck but i think someone that wants the trailer it'll make it better for them and i don't have to put the cost right up front plus i can paint the old one to match this and make it nice again and then if the trailer doesn't sell and for some reason i have to get back to doing tile work or something on houses I can use this trailer with the box and still go do work so not a big deal just something I'm gonna do that way I can see you know what I can get done um, you can see here here's the tailgate we did some touch up there too we had some lows that had to be filled in so we fill in them lows again you know because sometimes you'll fill in like there were some little divots here 
And as the, the, the body filler sits, it'll just concave again. So then you fill it in again and then you re-sand. And that's like just the way I do it. I'm not trying to be perfect the first pass. I just get it on there. The second pass, I micromanage and, and I get more fine-tuned with it. Because uh, on stuff like this, when you have this much damage that you got to float, because it's all rippled metal or bumps or dings here and there, it's just best to get it in there, see what's going to concave again, and then re-hit it. Like I said, we did some new you know, seam sealer inside. You see we got the heat gun out still. There's still some more body filler can over there. Um, it's just what it is, guys. It's how we get it done here. Um, but nothing big. We're just showing you guys that anybody can do this. It's not a hard thing to do in life. Everyone's capable of doing this kind of stuff and making money. Um, but nonetheless, um, that's what we got for you today. So peace out, down with the haters, up with the participators, and have a good day, guys. Peace and prosperity to all.